I am in Kathmandu, Nepal. Today is my first full day exploring here. I came to one of the most busiest area in the town. That's what I like to do on my first days in a new city, in a new country. Checking out some busy areas, feeling the vibes. So far, I really love the energy here. There's so much going on. That is really interesting to see. Hello, namaste. One hour? Yeah, one hour. Ah, uh, no, I want to walk around at the moment. Uh, okay, 30 minutes, sir. Just, no, walk around here. Oh, uh, sir, sometimes we do this, sir. I saw you very popular place. Ah, yeah, uh, maybe later. 30 minutes. First, I want to have a look around here now. Then come back here? Maybe later. I can't promise, maybe. Promise? No, can't promise. Uh, uh, okay, sir, have a nice good okay. Where are you from, sir? I'm from Germany. Germany? Yes. Oh, very nice one. Do you know where I can find Lassi? Oh, Lassi here. There's a... I saw a shop here earlier. Over there? Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. Oh, perfect. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I would like to start my Nepal adventure with getting uh, something refreshing to drink. Oh, check it out. There's a cow here. Oh, this is random. Why is there a cow here in the middle of the square? Okay. So, uh, I would like to try a local drink. Oh, you spotted me already. Let's see. Ah. Namaste. Uh, namaste, sir. This is uh, Lassi. 90 rupees, sir. 90 rupees. Oh. Let's see if I have 90 rupees. Uh, so this is Lassi, right? Lassi, right. What, what is inside? It is simply made of yogurt, sir. Yogurt? Yeah. Other than this? Something like a dish. Oh. Okay. Oh, very fast here. All the drinks are ready already. I think this is a popular place here. Okay, my first Lassi in Nepal. Not surprisingly, very um, thick and creamy. I was expecting it to be more light, but I really like it actually. And we have some, I think these are, not sure, what is the English word? Raisin, I think. Rosinen in Deutsch, in uh, German. And I think some, uh, some peanuts maybe. Mm. That is actually very nice. Oh, this is so interesting here. Yeah, if you are new in the country, the first days are always the most exciting ones. We are just walking down the street, it's already an adventure. There's so much going on here. Wow. What's really interesting here are these really narrow roads that you have all over the, the area here. So it's very narrow. The buildings here make it yeah, quite a, a lot of shadow in here. So it's not really as hot as it is on the, on the square outside. And then you have uh, all these little shops on the right, on the left. And I think this is actually a very uh, local area. I mean, it looks quite touristy, but if I have a look around, I see only locals here. I haven't seen uh, too many Westerners at all here yet so far. But yeah, of course, uh, there are Western tourists here. The country is very famous for trekking and for hiking. So many people come to Nepal. Yeah, to go to the mountains, to do exactly that. Oh. Oh. I just stumbled up on something. Hello, namaste. Hello, namaste. Oh, you have Momo here? Yes. Okay, how much is the Momo? Sorry? How much is it? Sir? Yeah, how much? Oh. The buffalo? Oh. Ah. Okay, can I get one portion? Ah, oh, okay, okay. Half? How many is half? How many? Five pieces. Five pieces? Okay, can I get five pieces, please? Okay. Oh, I just stumbled up on a little shop selling momos, and that was one of the things that I definitely wanted to do today, trying momos. Uh, I heard this, uh, this is a very popular dish here. Can I sit inside? Yeah? Oh. Namaste. Hello, Namaste. A little local shop like this here. I think this is a good place to have my first momos. And I think momos are basically uh, dumplings. Like a Nepali version of dumplings. But uh, yeah, I heard it's super, super popular and famous here. So it was one of the things that I definitely wanted to try on my first day here. And yeah, I think they get steamed inside over there. And then he put some sauce on it. The smell here is already amazing.
Oh, I'm not sure if I ate buffalo before actually. But yeah, they obviously, uh, most of the people here are Hindus, so they don't eat beef. Oh, so this is with buffalo inside? Yes, I have. Okay, it's my first time eating mumu. Any of the sauces that you recommend? Yes, it's spicy. Spicy? Yeah. Okay, so we have two different sauces here. I think I'm a little bit careful with the spicy sauces. Oh, okay, so this is a... Uh, brown sauce and then we have a yellow one already here. Oh, okay. By the way, if you are from Nepal watching this, let me know in the comment section which food should I try in the next weeks. I'm going to stay here for three to four weeks and I'm happy to try lots of local food. And the first one, actually I tried already one in the, in the first video. You saw my video of my arrival here where I tried uh, this big set. I think it was called Dali set. Dali set, something like that. Anyway, first time trying moments. Wow, this is really, really nice. Um, I tried many Chinese dumplings before, and yes, this is similar, but the flavor is totally different. So I think they are putting different... I think they are putting different spices inside. Let me see if I can uh, have a look inside. Maybe we can open one. So... We're having the buffalo meat in here. Actually, I would like to try just the meat. Yeah, I think this is my first time eating buffalo meat. It tastes a little bit similar like regular beef, but still different. This is actually very nice. Yeah, yeah around us, like uh, if you ate Chinese dumplings before, the, the thing around it is very similar. But the experience of tasting this is very different because of the, the flavors. I guess it's like totally different spices here. Okay. I think there are also some versions where you can get this as a soup. So these are obviously the, the steamed ones. There's a small spicy kick to it, but uh, the spiciness level here so far is uh, manageable for me. How much again? 60. 60? Yes. First time you take? Yeah, first time I try Momo. Very nice. good. Very nice, yeah. Oh, this is very interesting. So they get steamed inside these huge pots here. And then uh, he has uh, chi. This is maybe chili, buffalo and vegetable. Okay, 60? Okay. What is, what is uh, chi? Chicken. Chicken? Yes. Ah, so we have chicken, buffalo and vegetable. It's not chicken. Oh. This is buffalo. Buffalo, okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay, thank you very much. Thank you much. Thank you. Okay, that was my first Momo experience. And I think not my last one because no, that was really delicious. Hello, oh, namaste. Do you have tea here? Uh, Nepali tea? What is the, the most popular tea here? I would like to try something that is popular here. Milk tea? Okay, can I get one milk tea? Okay. How much is the milk tea? You can see it. Oh, I don't want to steal your seat. You can, you can keep it. No problem. No problem. <laughs> ah, so we have a milk tea here, which I think is popular here. Coffee, black tea, green tea, and some more food. Oh, they're also selling Momo here. I think you can get Momo basically everywhere here. So this is uh, going to be milk tea. Yeah. So it's just uh, milk together with uh, black tea? Yeah. With, uh, ah, this is the black tea? Yeah. Ah, okay. Is it uh, from Nepal? Yeah. Nepali tea? Yeah, Nepal. Oh, okay, okay. Alright. And then you just add uh, no sugar? Uh, for him, no sugar. For me also, no sugar is okay. Okay? Yeah, it's okay, okay. Okay, okay. Alright. Oh, I can sit here? Yeah. Okay. I'm from Germany. And you are from Kathmandu? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. I just tried Momo, my first time trying Momo. It was really delicious. And now my first time trying tea here. Buffalo Momo? Or yeah, I tried Buffalo chicken. Momo. Buffalo, yeah. What do you think is better, chicken or buffalo? Buff is better. Buff is better in Kathmandu. Okay, okay. Chicken has no taste. Chicken has no taste? <laughs> okay. It's without sugar, okay? Without sugar, okay. Danke, but. Thank you very much. Okay, so this is a hot milk tea. Oh, actually, it's very hot. 
Maybe we need to wait a minute. I like it when it's not too sweet. It's very good. Not so sweet. I prefer the, the less sweet version or the non sweet version at all. How much do you get for the, for the tea? It's no problem. I'm making you an offer. Three drinks. You're making me an offer? Yeah, three drinks. Three drinks? Oh, no, no, no. I can pay. No problem. Done your bet. Thank you very much. That's the first uh, nice impression of Kathmandu. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Great hospitality. Thank you for the tea. Okay, have a good day. Bye bye. Yeah. Alright, that was a lovely first tea experience here. Also, like I was chatting with the guys off camera for for quite a while actually. They told me so many interesting things about Kathmandu. Wow, so this is uh, how you get welcomed here as a tourist on your first day in Kathmandu. Awesome. And they actually recommended to um, check out or to walk around the area here. They said it's a very local area. Might be interesting to see. And then actually I have one mission today, which is really important actually. I need to find a SIM card. I don't have a SIM card yet. So we need to figure out how I can get a SIM card here. And then I also want to try if I can find one of these uh, Nepali hats. Like uh, the guy in front of me is wearing one. Okay, behind these walls is a place that should give us a little break from the noisy city. Hello. Yes. This is the, uh, the Garden of Dreams, yes, yeah. Garden of Dreams. Okay. Entrance here? Yes. Okay. You want some water, sir? Oh, no, thank you. Maybe when I come back. No, inside is no water. Inside is no water? No water. That's it's a very cheap price. Not expensive. Only no. How much is the water? 50 yes, rupees. 50 rupees. 50 rupees. You have a small bottle? Yes. Not now. No. Only the I big one? I don't have yeah. a small water. It's okay. Okay, I take this one. Okay. <coughs> 50 rupees? Yes. yes. How big is the place? This is a natural. How much is this? This is 100 rupees. 100, okay. Yes, I'll give you 50 rupees back. That's 50 rupees. That's okay. 50 for you. Yes. That's okay. Keep it. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, done your butt. Thank you very much. Okay, so there's a little garden here, and it uh, looks like we have to pay entrance. 400? Yeah. 400. One? One person, yeah. Open quarter past six, okay? 400 rupee entrance. Hello. Hello. Yes. I had a ticket. Okay, where was I? Um, oh, there's a squirrel here. Oh. Check it out. Oh. Oh, there's, oh, there are many actually. Oh. So many squirrels here. <laughs> oh. That's cute. Um, which sentence did I just start? Ah, oh, yeah. So 400 rupees gives us access to uh, a little break from the happening places outside the busy roads. And here we have a little oasis of calmness which many many squirrels running around. Oh that is lovely. Oh. And some birds over there. Ah. Ah, peaceful and calm here. Also the air is a little bit better here. Some fresh air in the middle of the city. These squirrels are actually not scared. They're very curious. <laughs> there must be like hundreds of them here. Okay, I'm going to show you some more impressions of this beautiful garden here. And while I'm doing that, let me quickly tell you about internet security. I am sure by now you all know what is a VPN service. A VPN service lets you virtually change the location of your phone or your laptop to basically anywhere in the world. And if you are not using a VPN service yet, I highly recommend to start using one. Personally, I am using Surfshark VPN for well over one and a half years already. And I am using them 
almost every single day. The first reason why I'm using Surfshark on a daily basis is to make my surfing experience safer. If you're connected with a VPN, it encrypts the data that is sent between your phone or your laptop and the internet, and therefore your personal information, your private data becomes safer. And the second reason why I'm using a VPN almost every single day is to unblock geo-restricted content. Some websites offer different types of content depending on your location. For example, here in Nepal, I can't access YouTube music. It's blocked here, so I can't listen to my favorite music playlists. But in order to have access to YouTube music, I just virtually change my location back to Germany, for example, and then I have access to YouTube music again. And yeah, personally, I am using Surfshark VPN. I can highly recommend them. It is the only VPN to offer one account for unlimited devices. And if you would like to check out Surfshark as well, you can click the link in my description or on the pinned comment. And if you enter the promo code Ken, you can get 83% off plus three extra months for free. That is a great offer. And they also have a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can test it out without any risk. Just click the link down below. Thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. And now let's keep exploring this interesting city. Oh, I see some, uh, some food is being sold here. Hello, Namaste. Hello, Namaste. Hey, namaste. What are you selling here? Yeah. Hello, Namaste. Oh, this looks interesting. Happy to try. Can I come inside? Yeah? Yeah, welcome. Oh, hello, hello. Hello. Oh, namaste. Oh, she has all kinds of different snacks here. Sweet. Oh, sweet. Oh, I'm blocking the door now. Oh, no problem, I can go out. Free the way. Then we're going to try one of these uh, snacks that she's selling. Hello, namaste. Okay. Now the ray is free. Where are you from? I'm from Germany. Germany. Germany, yeah. yeah. Oh, and I am yeah, too tall. Too tall yeah, for yeah. your store. This is all the other machine not good. Oh, that looks very beautiful. Uh, can I get one of these? Yes, yes. Yeah? yeah. Yes. What, what is the best one here? Yeah. This, this one. Here, this here, one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The one over there? All. All. Okay, can I get one of these and one of these? Okay. I can can I sit here? Yes. Can I join you? Oh hello, hello. Oh, it's okay. Oh, okay, I go over there. Alright. Thank you much. Thank you very much. Oh, no, no, I just had tea. No no. No tea, no tea. I just uh, drink tea one minute ago. <laughs> so I came across this little store here and uh, I saw this food here. This is a uh, sweet? Sweet, yeah. Sweet? Uh, yeah. Uh, what is the name of this? Lottu. Lottu, yeah. Lottu? Uh, Nepali mix is Lottu. Lottu. Punya Lottu. Lottu, okay. Yeah. Never tried this before? Let's see. Video on top? Video on top? Yeah, yeah. What is your YouTube channel name? It's called Ken Abroad. Ken, Ken, K E N, and then abroad. I can. You have a phone. I can show you. <laughs> oh, it's actually very nice. Mm, very sweet. Oh, it's very nice. I like it. Mm. It's not really that heavy. I was expecting this to be a heavy dessert. It's called Ken Abroad. Ken Abroad. Ken Abroad. <laughs> what is inside? Yeah, one piece. Eh? No, no. Uh, what, what is inside? Is it uh, what? What is it made of? Peanuts? Yeah. Peanuts inside? Uh -huh. Ah, okay. I didn't uh, taste the peanuts. Mm. Okay, now the second one. Yeah, and this one? Yeah. What is this made of? Yeah. Oh, it's like a... Like a rice. 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 Yeah. rice. Like a, like a rice cracker. Oh, uh, very crunchy, yeah. Mm. And there's some, some sesame on top. Mm. Also very nice. It's actually quite a strong sesame flavor, which I really like. Very crunchy, like a sesame crunchy cracker. Mm. Oh, very nice. Do you know how, how, how I say uh, delicious in Nepali? Delicious. Mm. 
Me too. Me too. Me too. Me too is good. Tasty, tasty. Tasty. Me too. Me too. Me too. Okay. I need to remember that. Very important word to learn. Me too. Hello. What is your name? Oh. Okay, nice to meet you. And your name? And your sister? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Nice to meet you. Thank <laughs> you. I am Ken. Ken, yeah. Your name is Ken. Yes, Ken. Ken and Chima Yeah, I think. Chima Chima so I want to piece. Ah, that's uh, you? Uh, are you making it here? Yeah, sweet one. Oh, can I see? Uh, oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I just yeah. want, want to, to see. Yeah. Oh, I was curious how you make it yeah, here. Yeah. Oh. Oh, hello, hello, namaste. Namaste. Uh, ah, this is something else? Yeah. This is Ah, you're cooking it here, okay. Yes. And this one? This is curry. Curry? Curry, curry. curry. Mm. Yeah. Ah, like a big yeah. pot of curry. Oh. Ah, with chickpeas? Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. Oh, it smells very good actually. Oh, nice, yeah. nice, okay. Okay, how much do I owe you? 50 rupees. 50 rupees? Yeah. Okay. Oh, can you change 500? Change? Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Two token. <laughs> very, very small, yeah? <laughs> I think Nepali people oh, are not as tall as I am. Oh. One meter 90 tall, by the way, if you're wondering. Okay, cool. done your yeah. bet. Thank so you very much. Yeah. That was a really nice experience. Yes. Yeah. These are the best. Yeah. My favorite. Thank you. What is the name again of these? Yeah. The name? Bunia Lotu. Bunia Lotu. Yeah, Nepali language is Bunia Lotu. Okay, I need to remember that so I can find these again. Yeah. Very delicious. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Welcome. All right. Okay, bye bye, guys. Thank you, thank you. Bye bye. Okay. Oh, lovely. Just a little shop like this very um, hidden almost there's not like even a sign or something bye bye have a good day oh thank you very much bye bye thank you very much bye bye okay, bye bye oh, the first experience or the first impression here i should say the first impressions of the people here is very very nice they seem to be very welcoming very friendly always smiling and i always love that when i come to a new country and right on my first day i uh, i meet so many friendly and welcoming people, awesome first impression. Okay, it is about time that I'm trying to find a SIM card. Maybe the shop here. Hello. Do you have SIM cards here? SIM, SIM card? Ensign or NDC. Again? Do you have Ensign or NDC? I don't have a SIM card yet, I need a SIM card. You have SIM cards here? What SIM card is the, the best here? I think there are two providers here, Encel and some telecom something. Ah, Encel, okay. How much is one? 150. 150? And then I need to top up, right? You buy recharge? I have 150 just for the SIM card, but I need uh, data as well. I can top up here as well? Yes. And you can uh, install in my phone? Yeah? Okay. Ah, oh, that was easy, I think. Actually, earlier I asked in my hotel, uh, what do I need to get a SIM card? And they told me, bring your passport. Yeah, that's actually the case in many countries, that uh, the SIM cards needs to be registered on a passport so that you can't do any illegal activities with the SIM card. And actually, when I arrived here, um, I actually had data because I used an uh, eSIM card. Sometimes I do that when I arrive in countries, I get an eSIM in advance and that's pretty convenient because you have data right away when you arrive and you don't have the hassle of getting a SIM card at the airport. But the problem with these eSIM cards is that sometimes they are very, very expensive compared to the local prices. For example, I got an eSIM card from Nepal, which was 1 GB of data and it was like $8, I think. And I think for $8, I can get way cheaper data packages or way more data packages for a local card. Where do you come from? I'm from Germany. Germany? Germany, yeah. You're from Nepal? I'm from Tibet. From Tibet? Ah, okay. How is Tibet? Maybe in Russia. 
She bet is nice. Yeah. Oh, what is this? This looks like uh, something that I can't show on YouTube. <laughs> what is this? Kama Sutra. Oh, it looks like a very traditional Kama Sutra. The Tibetan language. Uh, Kama Sutra in Tibetan language. Oh. I can't show that on the camera because there are some pictures that I can't show on YouTube. <laughs> oh, why, why do you have this with you? Why, why do you have this with you? I sail in many, many tourists. Oh, you sail to tourists? Yes. Ah. Oh, you had like a little Kama Sutra book there, written in Tibetan language. Oh, very interesting. What's your name, sir? What is uh, your father's name? My father's name? Yeah. My name is Ken. Ken, your father's name? No, that's uh, the that's one. No, no, your father's name. My father? Yeah, yeah, papa name is. No, papa, no, father. Kenan. Kenan. K-E-N. K-E-N. A-N. A-N. Why do you need my father's name to... Register my SIM card. Kenan, yeah, that's my father's name. Where do you get your grandfather's name? My grandfather's name. <laughs> you don't know, huh? <laughs> oh, you need my father's name to get my SIM card registered here, that's interesting. That's a Schloss. Oh, what is this? It's a Schloss. What? Schloss. Schloss? Yes. Oh, you speak German? Schloss. Schloss. Schloss means uh, like a keychain in German. <laughs> oh, not teuer. He speaks some German. Not expensive. <laughs> oh, what is this? Can I see? I'm a session price. I can market. But what, what, what do you use this for? Ah. Oh, okay, interesting. <laughs> okay, and about 15 minutes later, and I have a working SIM card. and. The SIM card itself is 150 rupees, which is like one US dollar. And then I topped it up with 30 GB for 600. So that is a way cheaper than the, the eSIM card I had. Okay, done your Thank you very much. Okay, have a good day. Bye bye. All right, so if you need a SIM card, bring your passport, uh, prepare the name of your father. I still don't know why they wanted to know the name of my father, but anyway, uh, I have a working SIM card now, I have internet, and let's uh, see if we can uh, do the next thing on my mission list, finding a hat. Hello, namaste. Hello, are you liking Nepal by far? I like it here so far, yeah. Nice. I'm only here for a few days, but my first impression is very nice. Where have you been? Uh, just around the city center. And? Uh, that's it so far. Haven't seen that much yet. How are the people? Very nice, very kind. Hello, namaste. Where can I buy a hat like this? It's this, my cap. Yeah, I want to buy one of these. Where can I buy? Uh, you sell them here? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Ah. Here? Yes, yes, yes. Come. You want? Yes, I want a hat like this. Oh. Yeah, I would really like to have one of these uh, hats here. So, okay, okay. Hey, we find one here find the shop here, let's see. Ah, namaste. Topi? Topi? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, you call it Topi, right? It's, uh, that's the name of, the, of these hats here. Traditional Nepali hat. I see a lot of, uh, especially older men, wearing these hats. Oh. Namaste, hello. Ah, she's selling them here? Ah, okay, okay. Let's have a look at your treasures here. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah. Ah. This one seven hundred. Seven hundred. Yeah. This one five hundred. Hmm? It's only I'm not sure. What is the? What is the best color for me? Does the the color uh, mean something? Is it important which color you wear? It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. Okay. So maybe something. Okay, so the color has no meaning. Okay, okay. okay. Maybe something that fits to a black t-shirt. What do you think? Which color fits, fits to a black t-shirt? I think this color fits. Maybe a bright color? This one? This will be more attractive to our black 
more attractive. Okay. Also, I like this one. It's very light. It's uh, because it's so hot here. This is very light. This is yeah. nice. Okay. Maybe I can I can try it. You can. Try. You yeah? try. Of course. Okay. How do you try. I? Oh, very curious what they are talking. If you can translate, please feel free to do so in the comments. <laughs> ah, you have to uh, fold it. Yes, I make YouTube videos. Ah, okay, you can put it on my head. Okay. Maybe a little bit too small. My name is Ken. And the YouTube name is Ken Abroad. Uh, uh, I think maybe too small. Sun biotic. Small biotic. What do you think? You think it's perfect? Let me. Uh, you wear like this? Okay. How does it look, guys? Actually, I don't know. But he is wearing it more low, you know. So I'm wondering if it's maybe a little bit, a little bit too uh, too small for my head because I can't pull it down. Yeah. Is it smaller? This one is bigger. You try. Maybe. Okay. Just try. Ah, thank you very much. <laughs> you are very boy. Ah, this one maybe fits a little bit better. And also, it's very light to wear. Are you comfortable? Yeah, this I think is better. What do you think? Looks okay? Yeah? They are saying you are looking handsome. You are looking handsome. Oh. Good, good, good. Oh. Okay. So they are looking handsome. Yeah. They are looking handsome. Nepali, Nepali, Dhaka Topi. Dhaka Topi, right. Nepali, Dhaka Topi. She's very funny, huh? She's very funny, yeah. Putting this chika. What does this mean? Putting chika. Ah, like a blessing? Oh. Oh, right. Okay, first let me buy this one. Why is it called Dhaka Topi? Because Dhaka is in Bangladesh, right? Is it coming from Bangladesh? Its clothes name is Dhaka, so it is made from Dhaka's clothes, so it is called Dhaka Topi. Ah, okay, so it doesn't have to do with the city in Bangladesh? No, no, with Dhaka. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, I like Close is Dhaka. Close is Dhaka. Okay, okay. Dhaka ko banna. Banya taani. Ame putte jangle no. Oh, what is this? She putting a flower on top here? Oi, oi. Oh, this is good. Let's pay jago. Oh, yeah. Five hundred. Five hundred? Oh yeah. Okay, okay. Let me see if I have it. Mommy, five hundred rupees. Five hundred rupees. Five hundred rupees. Yeah. Oh, now I feel like a, like a local. Maybe I need a, a jacket to look more like a local. This looks nice? Yeah. Okay. I want to blend in with the locals. You are looking like a local now. That's very good. Okay. Okay. Damien uh, Thank you very much. I was looking for a place like this everywhere. Not, not many places I found. So this is uh, very nice. Okay, finally I got it. Oh. What is this meaning? You look at Nepali. This means uh, small Nepali. This one is uh, like a blessing. Le yeah, by ah. blessing. Okay. Please. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to be my cameraman? Camera got there, man. Chandi na. Okay. Oh, you, know <laughs> you have a uh, coconut yes to to drink. Oh no, you drink while you drink while I'm drinking. Ah, for like offerings? Yeah, drink while I'm drinking. Or not to drink? Ah, okay. So there's a, there's a temple here? Ah, okay, okay. So, uh, Hindu? Oh, okay. Hindu? Oh, Hindu? Oh, no. Oh, oh no, no, I, I don't want to eat a banana. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, thank you. 
Uh, but uh, I just saw the coconuts here and I thought, oh, a refreshing coconut now would be nice to drink. But okay. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. Where are you going? I want to go to. Uh, I want to go to the market. Where house? Which market? Uh, house. Where house? House. House. Where are you from? Swimbu. Oh, I am from Germany. 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 And you see where are you from? Where are you living now, sister? Uh, around Tamil. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Around Tamil. Area. House. Tamil. <laughs> Many, many tourists in Tamil, I don't like. I like a local places like this. No tourists come you here. You can visit Pardon? Pardon? Yeah. yeah, okay. It is more like uh, Nepali culture. It reflects Nepali. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, Nepali culture. That's what I like to see. Well, what's can the can name again? Pardon. Pardon Darvish Pai. Bhaktapur, Pardon Darvish How do I write that? You can, you can help me. Oh, getting some uh, recommendations here from the locals. Because yeah, my impression is that the Tamil area is quite touristy and I like to see places that are not as touristy. Ah, Patan Durbas Dwer, okay. Okay, let me save that, so maybe I can go another day. You can also visit uh, Bhaktapur. Ah yeah, Bhaktapur, I want to go there as well, yeah. But now I'm looking for Brikuti Bazaar. Brikuti Market. Right here. Right here? Yeah. Down the street. Downstairs, oh. over there. Okay, perfect. Okay, thank you much. Thank you very much. Thank you for your help. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Okay. No money. No money. No money. Money. You want money? How much you want? <laughs> for your help. <laughs> oh, now everybody wants money here. Okay. Bigudi, come. You uh, you showed me the the market. Let me see. Oh. Now everybody comes to to get money here. No problem. Have a good day. Have a good day. Okay, Brikuti Bazaar. Okay. Brikuti Bazaar. Okay. 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 Thank you very much for your help. Okay. Okay. Have a good day. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Ah, okay. They were actually uh, quite uh, helpful, nice gentlemen. And now, I feel like I'm almost blending in. What do you think, guys? Do I look like a local now? <laughs> And yeah, you made me notice uh, I am uh, a little bit on the outskirts of uh, the Tamil area now. Left the touristy area. I'm actually trying to find a, a big market here. I'm in the mood for some shopping now. So yeah, these are my first impressions here. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe to the channel to join the journey. I will be staying in Nepal for a couple of weeks, so many more videos are about to come. And if you haven't seen my previous video of me arriving here and trying some local food already, check out the video right here. Stay healthy, stay positive, and then see you on the next episode. Ciao, guys.